Hello there. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor. Thanks for checking me out. I don't know if my glasses are crooked today. I bent them a little bit, but maybe it'll make me look like I have a bent face, but that's okay. So, um, I had a party over the weekend and uh, for one of my son's birthdays, and I have a new puppy and tied him up in the back. And with the puppy, he was tied up. He sees people coming to the party out in the backyard. And he got all excited. He's uh, barking and jumping up and down. And I had him on a long leash tied to a pole. And I was busy attending the party, so I didn't have time to go and you know, play with the dog. But I thought it was better than outside than inside. And the dog's... You know, um, very calm, and but he's jumping up and down. He's excited. He sees people. He wants pets. Um, so people were at the party, and I guess they see the dog. Everybody stayed in one area, and uh, no one walked over to the dog or anything, and not really. And then someone at the party remarked, "Boy, it must be hard having a dog like that. He's jumping up and down all the time and barking all the time." And I said, uh, I've never heard him bark before. I've had him for seven months. It's the first time I really heard him bark. And he doesn't jump up and down at all. He's always very calm. It's just because he sees everyone there. He wants to go interact with you. And I just have him tied up. And the person said, oh. But they didn't go up and pet him. Um which I thought was surprising. So it, I use this as an analogy because, you know, we have things in our lives that are like this barking dog. So the barking dog is there and now it wants attention, but it's calm, but everybody's not paying attention. So now the dog has to bark to get attention the dog has to bark and jump up and down because you're not attending to the dog um and then the dog just wants to run around and, and play with everyone but no one's interacting um so it's the same thing like when our lives with anxiety we have anxiety uh there's stress and people don't pay attention to what's the underlying cause of the anxiety so then it it jumps up and down and starts barking and it makes things happen in our lives um there's things in our lives that are jumping up and down and barking that we're not paying attention to um there's so there's a lot of things happening but people don't pay attention they're busy and they just don't have the time and they ignore it and things now jump up and down so uh, a couple things I thought I'd talk about is one of them is there's it's been reported and I have to mention it 85,000 children have been gone missing from the border of Mexico to the US so when people are coming through the border they come across the border and they're it's it's a problem with these you know border security and all that but the children come over and then they're just given to some strangers in the US who have not been vetted is what I've been told and they're just being given over to strangers like, who are these people? Who are these people who are saying, I want these children, I'll take them? And you're just given a child and then nobody's following up. How's the child doing? What's going on? Like, it's insane um, that that could be happening in the U.S. But there's, uh, I think, a child pedophile ring that goes and wants these kind of open borders so they could do this and get children for these whatever nefarious purposes are um, so that's really 
disheartening. Um, wanted to mention that there's a lot of things other uh, going on with other things in the world, but that was really uh, something that stood out the other day. Um, I did mention, and I'm not going to be making a video about I said this and I said that. Um, you know, I hate those kind of videos. But um, briefly, I did come out with a, a video uh, about the rice whale. And I said that there would be food shortages. And I tied it all together with children being abused and uh, all these kind of neglect. And I've, I've talked about these things in the past where they have the evergreen. And now I'm talking about it again. But I said that there would be, this was a sign that there would be these uh, rice shortages. And it was, came out in the news the other day that now there's rice shortages. There's a worldwide rice shortage. So what is the most common food that people eat, a basic staple of everyone's diet worldwide is rice. And now that there's a shortage, um, you know, people are starting to sound the alarm. Well, I talked about this two years ago, and I said that there's a sign from God and that there's going to be rice shortages. I talked about the Hunger Games, and I said that there's going to be rice shortages unless we change and stop the, the abuse of the children and the sexual abuse and the trafficking and that didn't happen um, and I said there's going to be supply chain issues and again I'm not touting myself or I'm not saying how great I am or anything like that but I say these things and then it just is no one seems to be listening um that's disheartening and again I'm not going to talk about hey I said this and this happened and this and this happened I kind of hate those videos sometimes but um, it's just really upsetting to hear about 85,000 children are missing and they don't know where they are 85,000 and that's not covering the ones from Ukraine that are missing and every other, you know, countries, these countries get invaded all of a sudden. Oh, the children now, they killed the parents. Now they're orphans. Oh, we better help them. And then they go missing and not counting the ones from Haiti that went missing. Um, and then they were found to be on a, there were some children getting on a plane with, uh, with uh, Hillary Clinton wasn't it um, that there was a lot of children get on a plane with them and uh, that they had a laptop before the laptop with Hunter Biden which was uh, found a lot of things with Hillary Clinton and that kind of got brushed under the rug and nobody remembers that one but there was a lot of things to do with children on that um, it's just, I just want them to stop with the, uh, you know, with the children. Just, you know, that's the thing. And I did mention about this all happening, and now it's happening, and I thought I'd make a video about it. Well, don't let the, uh, this is another barking dog that needs attention for everybody. So I hope uh, people take it to heart and maybe everybody does some small act doesn't have to be a big one but together we can change things let me know what you think in the comments like subscribe share have a great day bye bye